This video is going to be actually a discussion of Bastard. Dark Metal Fancy? Metal Dark Fancy? Episode 7? Direction is not going to commence. Wait, is that a woman? Oh. <laughs> hey, there we go. Wow! Okay. Oh, CJ. Not that it matters because all of them are going to get slaughtered. Okay. Yeah, he is. You're a woman. This is a woman. It's 100% a woman. Okay. Illusion. Yep, they're saying that he ended. Definitely isn't. Hmm. Wait, you were a swordsman? You were about to kill him though. Well, yep. Hmm. Okay. Oh! This sword, he actually took it. Okay. Whoa. There we go, woman. Yep. Hmm. Well, you're about to. Wow! That's disrespectful. And yeah, you, you're kind of right. But hey, still disrespectful. Well, it's not the only thing. Okay, you know what? I'm getting too much into that. Let's see what's gonna happen. Boss? Since. Okay. Neat. Ah, turning into stone. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. Ooh. Okay. Oof. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I feel like there's something more to it. He's not losing. Oh, okay. Okay. Why the pose? The logic of these guys. Hmm. Why do I not take her seriously? Thank you. Appreciate the show. Kind of proving the point of what I'm thinking about, eh? Hmm. This is a shonen manga. Definitely. Neat. Wow, she's gonna save him? I wonder why. Hmm. I mean, you are right. Although I don't believe you actually should be from the information that you have, but anyway. Okay. I feel like this episode uh, discussion is also gonna be quick. Because it's very straightforward. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna fight between these two? Whoa. I mean, you did say she's incomparably stronger than you. Oh, I mean, she said the name right, you know which god. Okay. <laughs> he loves screaming. But, uh, subtitles, would you stop, like, discussing? <laughs> okay. There we go. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I forgot how the power system worked. They mentioned gods, spirits, dark magic, so on and so forth. Okay. I guess you're not gonna kill her though, because she's a woman. Ooh, someone! A cockatrice? Yeah! Yeah, sneezing is awful. Oh no, wait. Okay. Yeah. Oh god! I do admit though, this actually looks pretty cool. Even though my eyes can't see it right now because of sneezing. Allergies are trash. Oh, this actually looks good. Oh. By the way, yeah, this is for now, but I'm curious, whenever he actually kisses another woman accidentally or something, he's going to turn back into Lucian, right? So. Oh, okay. Wow, that's just unlucky. And of course. Wow, what a shot. Okay. So you are gonna save her. Really? You haven't lost in a fair battle. And there we go. Hmm. Okay. I'm seeing it. Oh no, my eyes. Of course. Ah, sneezing is so garbage. I wonder why. I mean, I admit, the guy's good looking. Just, it pisses me off a little bit. Oh god. Hmm. His power. Okay, so he's gonna die because it's actually a man. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Sure you did. Ah, oh, God. My voice cracked. I mean, yeah, he is. Is he? I don't want to do the laundry. Huh? Oh, you're turning back into Lucian. Yeah, this is very bad. So a girl does need to... Oh, no. Hello there, Lucian. Uh -huh. Yes. No? Okay, well, I was wondering about that. Oh, wait, we're not done. Okay. Oh, I'm glad we're coming back to the pain. So is that gonna be the end of the arc? They're gonna do that and obviously enough, Lucian is gonna deal with it. Oh, let me guess. The general? Yeah. 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 Got it. Okay, well, I guess everyone will do what they said, where they're gonna join him. Okay! Huh, I really am having a lot of fun. I mean, I don't know what to say. Clearly enough, more incredible fan service because, of course, it's a shonen manga, as the main character said. It is a shonen manga. And I do love that we're gonna get more of the Ninja Master, that's going to be very entertaining. Super entertaining is the fact that Lucian also decided to appear at the end. Also, we learned a little more about how god magic works. Apparently, if you are close with one of the higher gods, oh, their subordinate magic is worthless. Or at least you can tell them to deactivate their magic. Which is strange, because this world wasn't our world, technically, right? It sure was. But somehow, even though it was our world, apparently gods and magic just still existed, or maybe after the dragon appeared they existed. I don't know, they mentioned a lot of things, and I don't know where this is gonna end. There's only four episodes left after this one, or the next one rather, which I'm gonna watch. <sighs> I don't know. It was fun though, it really was. I'm very glad that Gara is here. <laughs> 
Um, the Ninja Master, of course. Why does he have to be called Gara and be a Ninja Master? Okay. At the very least, they didn't give him the ability to control sun, so it's not really confusing. Anyway, though, uh, this was definitely a fun little thing at the very end. Uh, just like Lucian appearing. I suppose now we know that he's actually truly sealed, and even though he can gain control of Lucian, if he uses too much magic, then Lucian is going to come back. So that's actually very important information to know for the future. I am wondering, actually I'm having a lot of fun with this, but I am wondering how popular it is. I really am. We'll see, I suppose. Uh, I don't know whether I would want season 2, I don't know whether they're gonna conclude everything in season 1, I don't think so, I don't want them to. What I want to happen is, I want season 1 for them to get all the 4 generals on their side, or at least maybe a couple of them, and maybe in the future, because this is an entire world, so they can actually do this for as long as they want. I don't know what is going to be the true antagonist, maybe they're gonna resurrect that god and they're gonna realize they can't control her. Maybe there are other evil creatures, we know that they are gods, we know that there are other monsters in the world, so I have many some ideas to what they're gonna be doing, but overall it was actually a super enjoyable episode. I think they did a good job at kind of explaining little how, I mean, overall, I'm saying overall a lot, but overall once again, I feel as if they're doing a good job of explaining the power system each episode. They're obviously not telling me little by little each episode, and if I was paying a lot of attention, which I am trying to pay attention, but I'm watching all of them in a row, I will not watch, I believe, the last four episodes, but all the episodes before that I'm watching in a row, Hence, a lot of information is mixing in my brain and I'm probably missing some stuff. Overall, I'm having a lot of fun and I'm using overall a lot. That happens the longer I record and the longer I do stuff. My brain starts glitching out a little. This was definitely a good episode with some very good setup. I think they mentioned that Yoko is actually going after him, right? Maybe that's why he turned into Lucian, because they're gonna meet again. I feel like this is probably condensed in comparison to the original material, which obviously it's kind of always the case. But I'm kind of curious how things are going. It doesn't feel too rushed, it does feel a little too quick, generally speaking. I feel like this maybe would have also benefited if it was maybe a slightly longer series than 12 episodes, but Overall, I'm definitely having fun with it. The animation absolutely has some decent moments. Once again, I feel like this is one of those rare shows where it is incredibly consistent. The animation is consistent. It has some repeated moments where they repeat the animation for certain stuff, but I, I'm fine with them. So I feel like this show definitely has consistent animation. Overall though, I feel like they're doing a good job and I'm definitely looking forward to the next episode, which definitely should be the last, because as I said, I've watched seven in a row and now eight. So anyway, it was good and I'm truly looking forward to the next one. That's really there. Subscribe to the channel there and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.